Okay. Well? Kelly hasn't seen Dorian all day. So we have absolutely no idea whether she's going to show up. Perfect. That's our mayor in action. David Vickers Buchanan had just found six... I guess it's just the two of us. Does that mean that this just turned into date night? Commissioner. I'm sorry I'm late. Not so... I'm so sorry, but traffic on the bridge was jammed. Are, are you taking notes? Well, whatever you need. I didn't, I didn't bring my laptop, so... Uh, Inez, are you here for us? Well, yeah, if I'm not too late. I mean, I, I didn't get the message until... What message? Just, there was a note at the front desk at the station. Meet Mr. Buchanan at the palace for dinner. I didn't leave a note. That was me. I guess my secretary was not very clear. No, I thought it was work. <laughs> well, I'll try and make sure that it isn't. Nora, Bo, is it okay if I steal your assistant? Well, I think that's up to her. Inez, I promise you the best Caesar salad in town. Oh, and that it is a great salad. So, you don't need me? Well, no. Then go, enjoy. <laughs> okay, well, okay. <laughs> And our table is ready. It's right over there. See you guys. Yeah? I want to talk to you more about Matthew's internship. Sure. <laughs> well, well, well. Let's go! So, if we split the anti-drug campaign between our two budgets, we should have enough for the after-school program, don't you think, Bo? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if we can get the school board to pick up the their part of the classroom and then that'll be more money for the enforcement for LPD, right? Mm, sure. Right. Oh, God, I'd much rather see them spend money on that end than I mean, if it helps avoid drug prosecutions on this end, right? <laughs> well, they look like they're having fun. Yeah, Inez is making the best of it. She just got sandbagged. You know? <laughs> Figure. She didn't come here to see Clint. She came. She thought it was work. Oh yeah, that's tough. You know, instead of work, the struggling single mom gets asked out by the handsome, charming billionaire. That's tough. It's not that simple. Okay. What am I missing? It's Clint. Yeah, I know. Well, and my assistant? Yeah. And what, you're afraid that she's going to tell Clint your secret police business? No. Okay. Well, it's not your secret business, so that's not a question, right? No. Okay. Then what? But it doesn't bother you? All the women in this town, and he has to go after my assistant? It's dinner. And so what if it ends up being more than well, that? It's just, it's, it's odd. You know what? I, for one, would love to see Clint go out with a nice, normal girl who's a little closer to his own age that didn't just climb off a pole. Wow, uh, that's guilt talk. Well, maybe it is a little bit, you know, you too. Me? Oh, yeah, you're a part of this. You and I drove Clint into Kim's arms, and your son, David, drove Kim away. My son, David. Does that always stick in your throat? Well, I've been practicing. Oh, really? A lot of practice. Come on. We owe Clint. We owe Clint my assistant. Well, no, if you're going to put it like that, no, of course not. But don't you want to see Clint happy? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Well, there's some enthusiasm. No, well, okay, of course I want Clint to be happy. But? But? What, it's more than just this. You know, this internship with Matthew, all of a sudden Clint's just, you know, he's around. Would you rather sit out on the terrace? No, this is great. You're sure? Yes. And you don't feel hijacked into dinner? No. No, not at all. I just, I don't, I don't know the etiquette. For the palace? Your brother is my boss. He allows salad breaks. 
was a mistake. The hat, maybe, but I'm kidding. You look perfect. You are a star. And this is your public. <laughs> You're on, baby. Bo, do sit down. Oh, you of course know my niece Kelly. Uh, I'm gonna go get a drink. Okay. Bye, darling. All right, quickly show me your figures because we have to slash 20% off your budget. Over the years, my brother and I have been in some sticky situations. Would you be offended if I said that you and I having a friendly meal together doesn't even rank? Would you be offended if I told you that I'm more concerned about keeping my job than how it affects you and your brother? Well, that was honest. I have to support my son. I need this job. It's a very good job. And I realize that I am the expendable part of this equation. You and Bo are family, and there's nothing bigger than that. Not even marrying my ex-wife? You surprised? You could say that. You honestly didn't know that Nora and I used to be married? It kind of made all the papers when we split up. Well, I haven't been in town that long. But I mean, even if I had been, I don't read gossip. You're a gem. I don't know about that. You weren't kidding when you said that you and your brother have been through it. Nope, but don't worry about it because things are good with us now. Durant, cutting my paralegal staff is going to prohibit me from prosecuting cases. You mean you're going to have to remember how to write a legal brief yourself? No, that's not what I mean. The state has cut our funding, and of course we can't expect any money at all from Washington this year. We've all tried to streamline. We've cut back on person. Now we've doubled workloads. Now what you're asking... What I'm asking is for you to be competent leaders and to make the hard decisions. Hard decisions? Like dumping Doreen at the altar? Dumping that witch, there was a no-brainer. What did you say? What? Can you believe my handsome young son married to that? Oh. Whew. The truth is, and I learned this the hard way, is that Nora and Bo belong together. Always have. So it worked out for the best. You're very forgiving. Time to move on. Is this... Wait, no. Have you been... No, this is not the first salad I've had since then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it is the nicest time I've had in quite a while. How about you? Oh, this is my very first salad out in a really long time. Oh. Well, here's to a lot more dinners out for you. How dare you? Is that? Our beloved mayor, yes. Appears to be having a bad day. But at least you finally showed your true natures. What? What just happened to you? What? I heard you. Wow, this little bat's hearing still works. Do you believe that I was almost her father in law? Oh, God. I'm so <laughs> dodged a bullet. That is it. Well, I don't understand. Oh, Dorian! Oh, what? what the hell? You what got into me? Let's go. You do not deserve to have me in your family. Yeah, you're damn right about that. Now get out of here. Go. I Let's was go. just fine, you know, until your handsome son and his lying face came at me and then lured me back. Dorian, and what did he do? He did Come nothing. Let's tell him, stop it. He did nothing but but stomp on my heart, on my very soul. Give me a break. Let's go. And excuse me, what are you all staring at? I hope you enjoyed the show. Oh, thank you. Oh, you have on yourself, too. Uh, that poor woman. Do you think she's going to be okay? Hard to say. It runs in the family. All the Kramer women are a little loosely packed, if you know what I mean. It was only a matter of time before Dorian became unraveled, too. See you. 
Uh, my next very profitable case, whatever that might right. be. Right on. Right. Are you leaving already? I'm soaked. Dorian's lost her mind. There's breaking news. I'm still trying to figure out what the hell happened. What, what did you two say to her? We were talking budget numbers. All of a sudden, Dorian snapped. Uh, it seemed like she has a broken heart. Oh. Yeah, well, she had... <laughs> yeah, it's a broken heart. That's it. That poor old girl. Uh, really? Your son really did a number on her. It takes two. Only took one to run away. Oh, you gotta face it. David Vickers is worthless trash. Always has been, always will be. Inez, I'll see you in the morning. Bright and early. Enjoy your dinner. Nice Clint? Laura. What? I'm sorry, I'm updating my page. Updating you what? What are you, are you on my face? I keep a presence there for business. David Vickers Buchanan loves. You two aren't going, are you? Oh, come on, the night is young. I'm a mess. You look fine. But why don't you stay for dessert? Wait, you think I'm making this up? Well, why not? Yeah, I made up the pain in your head. You did come up with a pretty extreme story 